Hi everyone, Preezy here, I'm back with another review of some beautiful toys. I'm here with the um, uh, two of Grimm's uh, very popular products, and quite possibly the most well-recognized product of all, the Grimm's Rainbow. This is the 12-piece rainbow. You have probably seen this uh, in different places and maybe even tons of kind of knockoffy different styles or from some other really popular companies like Rodrigo Gres, uh and Akamura um, also make them. Uh, there are also some really great Etsy uh, vendors that make similar wooden rainbow stackers in different colors. But if you find one in this color assortment, this is the classic Grimm's rainbow. Uh, my handy ruler and then next to it are the building slates sometimes called building boards this is the natural colored building boards i wanted them because i have another rainbow so i didn't want to get you can get them in um, black and white pastel natural or rainbow depending on what you want to do i opted for natural i'm um, so just showing you how big the rainbow is it measures this is already 12 so it measures almost 14 about 14 inches long and uh, what makes Grimm's really well known and most pictures will always just show you the front nobody shows you what's really how wide these rainbows are because remember this is actually cut from one single piece of wood so the wood has to be this thick and then it's cut through so that's quite a lot of work involved so the, the Grimm's one is uh, almost three inches it's like two and seven eighths I would say wide along with each piece being a quarter inch thick so you know you you know you're getting quite quite a solid piece of wood because of how big these are um if you look at really <laughs> kind of scary knockoffs on something like Amazon you'll find that the the pieces are only maybe an inch wide or even less and so stacking and doing anything with it is not fun what makes these grims just so beautiful is that they are you know, classic open-ended toy. They make beautiful decoration. When it comes to open-endedness, you know, there's kind of sky's the limit. You can build your little rainbow for your friend in here, or your friend can sit in here, and you can stack on top. Although she's kind of big, so she won't be able to stack inside. She'll lie down for a bit. And you can stack any way you want, and you can keep going. I'll have a separate video on stacking and different ways to stack. Uh, and then you have the matching building board set, which is a set of 11. And uh, you can guess that they're a set of 11 because this, this is set of 12. And this one doesn't have a matching piece. But for all the other colors, there's a matching board. And so, you know, the building boards can used for, be used for balancing. So maybe I could have my, my friend here. My friend is here. Mm -hmm. uh, I could put another board on top. Ta -da. Uh, and you can keep on building. So the boards are great for marble runs. Uh, you can also, maybe she needs a ramp to get down. I don't know. She can have a couple ramps to get down. That would be fun. It could be used for some small cars if you had. Um, or if your kids are getting into the age of, you know, knowing their alphabet and learning about letters, you can make letters from them. So, you have, oops, I'm just going to knock them down instead. I guess you can guess that letter. A and maybe B, even lowercase b. Big B. This one's easy. C. D. Uh, and you can go on and on. Um, these building boards, you can see, oh, this one's really pretty. Look at the, the knot in the wood. These are not, these are just imperfections of the wood. It doesn't mean it's bad material or anything. Every piece of wood, you know, is kind of chosen with love by these companies. So they might have some imperfection, they might have some knots, they might have something you think it doesn't look nice, but you know, this is wood. Um, the beauty of wood is everything is different, but uh, some people may not, you know, appreciate that aspect that everything can be really different and it may not look absolutely perfect. Um, but 
There you go. One of the things to know when you are buying rims is say you when your article arrives, it should have a sticker on it that looks like this. This one says made in Bosnia. The slates are made in Bosnia at their sister factory. Uh, everything along with some other products and then the rest is made in Germany. But those are the only two places Grimm's ma manufacturers uh, are at their main facility in Germany and in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, when you get your Grimm's you'll always notice it's going to be really tight. I don't have one in plastic wrap. Maybe I should. But it will be really tight and it might not look even. Just take the plastic wrap off and you'll be fine. That's just how it is. Uh, I wish though they would not ship in plastic. I think there are better ways. Uh, this rainbow is three years old and it's certainly seen some time of play. Uh, you can also see like not every band is old, is perfect either. And that's just how wood is. They, they cut these out. So even though like they... Like there's a little bit of unevenness in the thickness, but I think that's fine. They still build in so many different ways. I've got lots of pictures on my blog on A Life of Toys. You can see there has been color transfer because they've been, this is three years old, so they've been bashed up a bit. Also, my son almost managed to get to a, a pen and draw all over it before I caught him, but okay, I caught him. Uh, but they go really well with just... You know any toys you can roll cars you can have your trucks i've got my truck here i'm gonna make an appearance um and you can build all sorts of worlds with them big and small and they're just about anything i even have just sitting off on the side my thousand and one nights building set here so you know maybe a something here oh my little whale can hang off to the side perhaps oh there we go so i mean these are really beautiful toys the slates go for around 50 55 dollars um the grams you'll see them in wildly varying prices but uh, should be about 90 dollars uh, if you get them on sale or with like a discount code or a promo code it'd probably go down to 80 dollars um uh, at most, it should ever be is $100. So if you're paying more than $100 for a Grimm's, you are paying too much, let me tell you, friend. Um, if you're planning to buy these for Christmas, I definitely recommend getting them earlier. They are will sell out quickly. And there are several different colors. You don't have to get just the rainbow. You can get, they have a black and white, they have a pastel, and they have a natural color that looks like this. So you can get something for whatever um, color scheme that you desire at home. Uh, again, I have links down below, so if you'd like to buy them and uh, take a look at them, they are uh, affiliate links. So if you purchase, it really does help me cover my costs in reviewing these toys and talking about them and editing and writing about everything here. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll be having some more videos on actually building with the rainbow and building with the slates. For now, it was just to talk about how big these were and how much you can buy them. Um, so I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Bye-bye.